Hey guys, we've got an exciting new adventure today. And one of the things Dan and I have been wanting to do for a while now is get involved with some local politics just to kind of help start being a part of crafting a community that we want our kids to be a part of as they grow up. And I have an opportunity now to possibly help someone who's running for governor with their YouTube campaign, like the social media side of their of their political campaign. I talked with the, like a guy who manages his campaign already and he said to come to this, even though I'm not a vet, I've never been in the military, but um, after this meeting, we're supposed to have some time to, to talk together about what he's doing socially uh, online and how all that's working for him. So that's what we're going to do today. I am a job creator. Even now, I employ scores of people, and I they're paid millions of dollars in payroll and benefits each year. These are dollars that are going back into payroll, into benefits, into taxes, things that are being plowed back into the economy. There are people much smarter than me that as a successful governor, I will need to surround myself who are experts in each of their respective places. And that's what a good leader does. So I am here with Matt Bevin. This is the guy I can hang out with a little bit here. He just uh, did a big, nice talk up there. And uh, so he actually is a dad of nine kids. Father of nine, nine children, yes. Aging uh, 16, 14, 14, 13, 12, nine, eight, and five. Awesome. I think I didn't leave anybody out there. <laughs> they keep aging up on me. So he has been, uh, well, you are running for governor of the state of Kentucky. I told him a little bit about you guys, and I asked him, what would be some parenting dad advice you have for moms and dads out there who have kids who are younger, trying to raise their families, kind of like, like we are? One, one thing I will tell you, and I mean it sincerely, I mean, we cheated a little bit. Five of our children are biological, and then we adopted four of our children. So we do have nine kids. The greatest gift you can give your your child is to serve with them. And a lot of people encourage their kids to serve, but I'm telling you, if you serve alongside your children, do something for other people where there's nothing in it for you, there is no greater gift you yeah. can give your children, and frankly, no greater reward you get as a parent. It has been something that yeah. we have loved for a long time and yeah. been grateful for. We always get more out of it than we think we're going to. Yeah, one of the things that you guys know that we are really passionate about, my wife and I, are about serving together as a family team, yeah. right? So we're not just a bunch of individuals who co-inhabit co exactly. the same space together like in our house but we're like team you know that's that's really yeah. important to, to us it is and, funny I didn't know that about you but it's yeah. ironic but then he asked me to share one thing and that was I thought if I'm gonna share one thing and challenge people yeah that's, that's the thing and I mean it sincerely it is true and you know it to be yeah. true so, so yeah. voting day is coming in Kentucky. May 19th May 19th I'll tell you if you care I mean we we do have nine kids we homeschool our kids there's a lot of things that probably we share in common with some of you yeah. May 19th this race matters and if you are a Republican because we're a closed primary our state and if you care about the future of our state and if you care about the future for your children I would be humbled and grateful for your vote I really would you can go to mattbevin.com m-a-t-t-b-e-v-i-n.com and learn more about where I stand on the issues uh, and I'd appreciate it Thank yeah I'll put a link to his website below if you guys want to go check it out so this is my first time meeting him our first time talking but I did just listen to him. how long did you talk for maybe 45 minutes or something? I, I just took Q&A till people got tired <laughs> till they wore he's, me out he's used his work quota for today I think already he's used still got a couple more stops. We did. We've got right? three more stops today. So I think our word started yeah. this morning at 7.30 with Brian Thomas. Uh, oh, wow. And, uh, and uh, it'll go until, I don't know, 10 tonight or something. But it's all good. Yeah. So it, it seems legit, guys. And if you are in the state of Kentucky, check out his website down below and, uh, and see what you think. It's such a nice day out, guys. Man, I took my jacket off. So sunny. Uh, it's an awesome day. So um, we're actually going over to see Matt talk at um, one other place. This time Dana's going to be there. She's bringing the kids. And he's talking, uh, that last one he was talking to vets. Um, and where we're going, he's going to be talking to homeschool parents and homeschool families. So you guys know we homeschool our kids just as Matt does. But guys, we've never done a political thing before on our channel. <laughs> So this is, this is something a little bit uh, new for us, but we haven't really been involved too much in politics. Like I think we've told you guys before, we want to be because we want to help influence, you know, the community and, and be a part of the, the world that we're shaping for our, for our kids. But uh, it's kind of Dan and I and I've always talked about that. It's cool now to finally actually be doing it. You know. Hey guys, do you know what we're doing here? Yes. What are we doing here, Hallie? Does she know? <laughs> Can you explain it to us? See, what are we doing here? She says, I have a toy. That's all that matters. <laughs> We're going to listen to somebody talk for a little bit. Mommy and Daddy are, okay? Does that sound fun, Hannah? I'm a big okay, toy. You got your toys? Inside. Okay, come on in. The solutions to what ails us are not coming from the top down. They're not. 
the things that affect us day to day and the things that we're going to have to address are coming from the bottom up and things at the state level. Do you have fun with that, Hallie? <laughs> they have a trampoline outside. Uh, it's over. All she wants. <laughs> yeah. You want to go play on the trampoline, huh? She's like, I want to go outside and play. And we're going to go home. It's over now. So we're going to go home and eat some dinner at our house, okay? We're just going to say bye real quick, okay? How are you going to say bye? Not bye bye to them. You're going to say bye bye to Mr. Matt Bevan, okay? Do you want to be picked up too? No. <laughs> She's like, picked up by strangers. <laughs> Toby's waking up. Yeah. She's like, I'm tired and hungry. Oh, it's so funny. That's what we used to always call it little peanuts. You know, I called him. It was funny. At first, I had my peanut, then I had my wee nut. And I had to keep coming up with different little nut names. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Hallie, say bye bye. Can you say bye? Say bye bye. No. <laughs> oh, is, like, like, really? is that what I am now? I'm a prop. Is yeah. That what it is? <laughs> oh, yeah. Crash Thanks hey, for thank hanging you. out with us for a little bit. Hey, my pleasure. It really was, and meeting the whole family. Yep. And thank you to all of you out there in the extended family. Good talking to <laughs> yep. you. Yep. And hope your campaign goes well. Thank you. Dana made a delicious Daddy, dinner Daddy, for us tonight. Spaghetti with what special noodles. What do you call it? Special noodles. Yeah, like bow tie noodles, kind of. Or no, it's ribbon like, noodles. Ribbon noodles. Okay. So Hannah, this is a good teaching opportunity for us to talk as a family about what is government. Do you know what the government is? Uh -huh. Danny, you want to explain that? You want me to? <laughs> okay. So the government is how they're they're people that lead our country. Number. What's the name of our country? United States. United States of America. And they make decisions for the people. And basically, what they do is they, they help figure out how are we all going to live together. That's what politics are. It's, it's how are all the people in this country going to live together? What rules are we going to follow? And how is it all going to work? So that's what they figure out. And so they go a couple of times um, every couple of years. They get to, we get to pick who do we want to make rules for us and laws for us and determine how our country works and lives together. Mm -hmm. And so we pick those people by voting. And he, that guy that we were just talking to, Matt Bevan, is someone who wants to help lead our people in choices and decisions that our government makes that makes rules for us to live by. And so we go and talk with him and see do, should we vote for him or not and, and, uh, and things like that. So that's what we were listening to him talk about, um, how he would make rules and lead our country and things um, if, he, if, if we voted and, and, vote and uh, put him in charge. Do you guys know what voting is? Mm-hmm. What's yeah, voting? When you take a piece of paper and you write who you want to... Who you want to leave. That's right. And Zeke, you went and voted with me last time, right? Remember that? So what I do is I look at this sheet here, little guy, and it has all the different names on it. Can you see that? You see those names? And then I get to pick who do I want to be, and then I fill in the square next to one of the people. Okay? That I want to vote for. That's how it works. And then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it in that machine over there, right there, and then it's going to count. So I guess kind of in a way today was like a field trip. <laughs> Do you guys like, you know what field trips are? It doesn't really matter. It's what our family goes. We do fun things. Oh, did you put something in your milk? That's what Hallie's concerned about. <laughs> so we learned some things today, right, about government and voting, right? You guys got to meet somebody who's gonna who's working on all that stuff right now. It's pretty cool. I'm sure by now you guys have heard of the app Meerkat. It's kind of, you know, become a really popular thing over the past week. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically live streaming. I'm watching our friend uh, Katie Morton live stream right now. And it's based on Twitter. And the way it works is like, Dana and I at any time can open up this app and just start streaming live right from our phones instantly at any time. And the notification, if you have the app, you'll get the notification on your phone telling you that uh, Dan and I are live um, right then and you can quickly just get a notification, quickly just tap it and join us. Or if you follow us on Twitter, what, you wanna read that book? Okay, you guys getting jammies on? We're gonna read this book, Playful Puppies. Okay, we'll read, we'll read that book in a bit, okay? So uh, Dan and I do like going live with you. We think this would be a good opportunity for us to go live when we have time, kind of spontaneously. So there's a link in the description below to the app if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch or iPad or anything on iOS. And uh, go, go check it out, download it. Um, you have to follow us on Twitter in order to follow us on the app. So those links are down there too. But it's pretty cool, it looks fun. She's, uh, you can comment you know, uh, down here. 
and uh, and interact with the uh, with a live event. Um, let me see if I tap out all that. You can see everyone else who's like watching it at the same time, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. If I go to my home page back here, uh, you can see that she's live right now. And so this is what, where you would schedule or start a live stream. Um, you can schedule them to start in the future too. So go check it out. And uh, I am at Tim Schmoyer on Twitter. Dan is at Dana Schmoyer on Twitter. If you follow us on there, then you'll also be following us here on the app. And uh, it'd be fun to go live with you guys just spontaneously and randomly when we have time. Don't you think that'd be fun, Hallie? The book. The book? You want to read, you, you read this book? Uh-huh. Okay, well, we're, each, we're doing our evening work um, we believe that good work brings good reward, right? And so we've done some good work of cleaning up our living room a little bit. We still got a little bit of work. And we worked on uh, cleaning up the kitchen together as a family after dinner. Mommy's still doing some stuff. Holly, let's finish cleaning up the living room a little bit more, then we'll read the books, okay? Okay. We did it. You did some good work, right, Hallie? Ducky, ducky. It's time for a good reward. Then we're going to read Playful Puppies, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, is that a ball? <laughs> get doggy, so excited about doggy this book. balls. Doggy balls. Yep, let's read the book and then it has to be Hallie's turn to go tonight. night. <gasps> Whoa! I'm having the chicken. Good job, Hallie. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did it. You got it all. Yeah. High five. 